Who is Tommy Lauren? 10 Things You Need to Know About the 24-Year-Old Conservative Commentator Tommy Lauren, a conservative firebrand, has reportedly had her show suspended from the blaze on Monday after sparking a conservative firestorm following an appearance on ABC's The View on Friday, during which she identified as an abortion rights advocate. Lauren's suspension will be in effect for at least a week. She is considered a rising star in conservative commentary and often makes waves for her controversial comments. Here's what you need to know about her. 1. She got her own political talk show just before she turned 22. After graduating from the University of Nevada in 2014, Lauren went in search of an internship, like a lot of fresh out-of-college people do. A quick Google search for conservative news outlets led Lauren to One American News Network. During her interview, Lauren so impressed her and CEO Robert Herring that he offered her a show of her own. 2. Her take on the Chattanooga shootings launched her to fame. In July 2015, a gunman opened fire on two military installations in Chattanooga, Tennessee, resulting in the deaths of four Marines and one Navy sailor. Lauren responded to the tragedy in her popular Final Thoughts segment with a rant against President Barack Obama that quickly went viral, launching her to Internet fame. By August 2015, she had completed her last show with O.N. and teased something new to fans on Twitter. That something new was her new job. In October 2015, she premiered her current nightly talk show, Tommy, on Glenn Beck's network The Blaze. 3. She used to intern for a member of Congress. Before going into political commentary, Lauren interned for Republican Congresswoman Christy Noem. She says that experience cemented her passion for politics but also taught her that she didn't want to be a politician herself. 4. She was an unofficial advisor during Trump's campaign. According to the New York Times, Lauren has said she'd contributed to the Trump campaign as an unofficial advisor to the social media team. She also appeared in Facebook Live broadcasts for the campaign leading up to the election. 5. Her appearance on The Daily Show generated a lot of buzz. In November, The Daily Show host Trevor Noah interviewed Lauren about her role as a voice for young conservatives. Noah encouraged his liberal-leaning audience to be polite to Lauren during her appearance but he didn't pull punches. Though the audience did boo and laugh at her at times during the interview. Lauren didn't seem bothered. After the interview, she said, There were some people in the audience that were just there to razz me. 6. She's even come for Beyoncé. After Beyoncé's widely acclaimed Super Bowl halftime performance, Lauren dedicated her controversial and popular Final Thoughts segment to an extended criticism of everything from Bay's performance to the Black Lives Matter movement. She also included a personal jab at Jay Z just for good measure. In December, she again railed against Beyoncé and the Black Lives Matter movement in a response MTV's 2017 Resolutions for White Guys video. Apparently, white males are no longer allowed to say all lives matter or blue lives matter or woke because a group of snowflakes on MTV say so, she said during the segment. Nah, I don't think so. Let me help you all out, because you clearly don't get it. And since I'm a white female, I guess your crap doesn't fully apply to me anyway. 7. She's been called a racist but has denounced the outright. Although she's been called white power Barbie, Lauren has made public statements denouncing some of the more radical conservative groups and ideologies. In a recent interview with the New York Times, Lauren condemned the racist outright movement, calling it disgusting, and claiming that she would never be an advocate a cheerleader or an apologist for the KKK or any other hate group. She's also hung out with radio host Charla Magna the God, and had him on her show to debate the Beyoncé Super Bowl halftime performance. Though the two of them agreed on almost nothing, they both stressed how important it was that they have a conversation at all. 8. When tweets from her college days resurfaced, her response went viral. In January, Lauren's tweets from when she was in college resurfaced and started to go viral. They referenced alcohol, the song Pop That Pussy, and complaints about getting a job during her summer vacation. I drank beer when I was 21, oh my gosh. 
I took shots when I was 21, oh my gosh, she said in a Facebook Live video. And I had fun in college, because, guess what, I'm a human being. I still do that and I'm 24, so if you needed to humanize me, I guess there's your opportunity. 9. President Trump called her to thank her. On February 7, Lauren appeared on Fox News where she discussed her support for President Trump during the general election. Everyday Americans gravitated toward him, Lauren told Fox News' Sean Hannity. He's running against the Democratic Party and, in some ways, the Republican Party as well. And he won, she said. Trump reportedly watched the segment live and then picked up the phone. He called and said, Thank you for your fair coverage of me, Lauren told the Washingtonian magazine. They spoke for about 10 to 15 minutes, during which time Trump was asking about me personally, according to Lauren, who wouldn't say what exactly he asked. 10. She's pro choice. During a March 17 appearance on The View, Lauren said she supported abortion rights, which surprised many people on the panel. But she said that her conservative viewpoint actually was what contributed to her stance on abortion. I'm someone that's for limited government, she said. So I can't sit here and be a hypocrite and say I'm for limited government but I think the government should decide what women do with their bodies. As a result of this proclamation, Lauren received a flood of backlash from her conservative fans, and her show on The Blaze was suspended for a week. The host then took to Twitter to address the news in a mostly cryptic fashion, but according to Kin Money, was not allowed to offer an official statement.